When you're a kid, the holidays are a magical time. Underneath all of the tinsel and the wrapping paper, however, there are real lessons to be learned about money. Earning it, spending it, saving it, trying to hold on to it, <laughs> trying to make it. <laughs> but you don't have to sacrifice any of the magic in order to bring those lessons to life. Joining us now to explain is John Paradise from Town & Country Federal Credit Union. John, we were just talking about this off camera, how it's really a magical time for kids. And, you know, they think about presents and they think about all the things they're going to get. But this is, you know, it could be a fun way to incorporate it, some lessons about money. It really can. And it can be done in a fun way and in an age appropriate way. You know, I think first, first thing that you should do is sit down and have your, your child involved, depending on age, of course, have them involved in purchasing some presents. I think it's a good uh, habit and a good uh, lesson to start early. Give them some cash. Let them touch and feel money and have that whole experience and then go down. It doesn't have to be much, but, but have them sit down and say, you know, here, we're going to give you $20. And how are you going to spend it? Here's who you have to buy for it. Have them be part of the process and say, you know, I, I'm going to spend an equal amount on so and so and so and so. And then I want to get some for my friends. Well, my best friend, I'm going to give two dollars. My, you know, another friend, I'm going to give a dollar and, and have them, you know, set down that budget and stick to it and say, you know, let them realize that once that 20 is gone, they're gone, they're done. So make sure they spend it while, wisely. And then that gets into the whole prioritizing um, you know, needs versus mm -hmm. wants. They mm -hmm. have to get, you know, presents for, for all these, these people on that list. And then they may want to get others even for themselves, uh, but they may not have the funds. So make sure they sit down and as part of that whole budgeting process and, and prioritize. And then, you know, one thing, Megan, I think is fun, a fun part of the process, get them a little taste of investing and you know kind of how things can can build and, and i i think it can be done as some something as simple as baking cookies maybe have them be involved in the baking process but if they're not let them know that if to get a cookie to get part of the cookie they have to do a chore or mm -hmm. do something that they they need to get done and uh, you know, the whole idea of interest and in having somebody something make money, so to speak, by investing, say you can have half a cookie now or you can have the whole cookie after dinner if you've done certain things so you can make a little interest. If you have the half a cookie now, you can't have anything again until tomorrow. Interesting. So, you know, it's just a fun little way to, to have them be part of the rewards process and let give them a, a little taste of, you know, how investing comes with decisions and and how good things happen over time like so uh, it's just you know it's a fun lesson at the holidays and a great way to have the kids be not only magical but learn something along the way all right john paradise from uh, town and country federal credit union thank you so much for joining thank us thank you megan happy it. holidays yes you too and we'll be right back